So basically the story go like this. August 21st, 2004. Uh, I was on my way to a show on the east side of Detroit. Me, Coke, me and Coke. It was just me and Coke. And um, I was going to do a show over on, uh, I think, on it somewhere, I believe. And um, it was an outside show. I was doing for, for a lady named Land. She in the game or whatever. So, Show was over with. I did my performance. You know, Coke was there with me. He repped on stage. He did, he did the performance and whatnot. Show was over. Oh, let me go back. My mama was there too. My mama and my auntie met me at the show. You know, because they all, my mama always comes to the shows with me. So she was there, my auntie was there, me and Coke and a gang of other people, you know, from Detroit. Show over with. I leave with my mama and my auntie, because I rode with coat, I didn't drive. Left my mag at home, because I rode with coat. You know, you, you know how it go, you don't be riding with niggas with your mag and things like that. Other niggas car, especially when y'all both fellas. So, I left the mag at home. Left with my mama and my auntie. Uh, we went to the liquor store on Seven Mile and Mount Ellie, East Seven Mile and Mount Ellie. Get in there, get in the liquor store. I'm already buzzing, me and Cole drinking. Shit, I think we were drinking some great food. But shit, I had enough, me and that nigga had probably a shit, probably, I don't know, a pint and a half, maybe a fifth, I don't know. I know we were drinking. I'm buzzing, I'm toasting. So I'm in the store with my mom and my auntie. They grabbing us. Uh, I think they got a half a pint of cigarettes or something like that, maybe. I'm not for sure. But if my memory serves me right, I believe it was a half a pint of cigarettes. And I'm standing in the back of the store eating some chips. So they're making their order. And there's a dude up there that's placing the order before them. So he he's standing there placing his order and and my mama's standing behind him and he make a comment to my mama and he say, Oh, you got some pretty eyes. You them your eyes. Now I'm standing in the background the whole time eating chips. But I'm I ain't I'm just eating chips. Standing there, you know, they doing whatever they doing. I ain't in their business or nothing like that. I'm just standing there eating chips. So Say you got when he say you got some pretty eyes, she say, and he say it's them your eyes. She say, yeah, these my eyes. I bought them in a joking way, you know. They, they, I guess you could say flirt. So, but you know, my mama, she do that. She, you know, what I'm saying she just a friendly person. So it ain't like she was trying to be out here. Flirting with no damn body. She's just friendly and she was having a conversation with me because he said something to her first about her eyes. So she said, Yeah, these mine, I bought them or whatnot. He, and then she said, Oh, your eyes look nice too. And then he said, These my eyes, these my real eyes. You know, I don't know how he said it because I wasn't in their business. This is just what they told me what was said. And uh, my auntie jumped in the way, you know, and she said, uh, this my sister or whatever. This my this my big sister or whatever. She might have said something along the lines of she married or don't holler at her or whatever. I don't know. So as he getting ready to go out the store, he getting his items. He getting his items and he get ready to go out the store. He he look at me and he called me a sorry motherfucker. I don't know why he called me a sorry motherfucker. I ain't said nothing to this man. I ain't got nothing to say to him. Didn't know him from a can of paint. They didn't even know him. But he walked out the store and he called me a sorry motherfucker. So, when he walked out the store, I asked my mom, I said, what did he say to me? She said, I don't know what he said. I sound like he said sorry motherfucker. I said, damn, he called me for what? So I walked to the door. When I go to the door, you know, that's just my, I'm from the street, my head thinks I don't want to be ambushed in no store. 
So I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he called me that name. So when I walk to the door, I walk out the door. As I'm walking out the door, he coming back to the door. I guess he went to his car, now he approaching the door. When he walked back up on me, bang, took off on me. Now when we go down, I'm on top of him. When we fall down, I'm, I'm on top of him. Fight now. My knees is on the ground. He between my legs and his head is right where I can punch him. So now I'm punching him. Boom, boom, boom. I'm him up. He fight. He on the ground. Now whatever he did, I guess he put it in his pocket. Well, he already had it in his hand. I don't know. He already had it in his hand. And as I was he's stabbing me. Uh, 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 uh. Everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like everywhere, literally. Got it over here. This is what you rather pull and stick some shit. I ain't quick unless it's time to go. Collapsed lungs, two hanging out. I got stabbed under both arms. That's stabbed 17 times. Portion of my bowel removed right here. I got stabbed down here. I got one right here on my arm. I got one on my shoulder. I got a couple in my chest up here. I feel, I feel a picture of all of that. But uh, like I said, I'm on the ground. I'm punching him. He's stabbing me. So, so I go out. And when I go out, I pass out on top of him. I lose blood, I'm losing blood. You know what I'm saying? I just pass out. So when I pass out, he still stabbed me. Uh, uh, uh. So my body went like this, pumping. So my mama ran out the stove. And she, oh my God. She picked me up off of it. Uh. Pick me up, I come too. They rushed me to the house. She, she threw me in the back of the nose. She picked me up, but the man that was, my man had somebody with him. They, the night of the dream cruise, so they, they in a, a nice dream cruise kind of car or whatever. So, the nigga that was with him got out and helped him pick me up off the ground. Oh, oh, you stabbed, this was when mama said it, he said, oh, you done stabbed my man, you done fucked up, you done fucked you done stabbed, you done killed this dude. So they picked me up, they picked me up, helped me get in my mama's car, you know, like that. Him and my mama, you know, they on each side of me. And uh, I get in the car. I get in the car. And I'm in the back seat now, I'm bleeding like a mother. I got on the Pete Maravich jersey with a t-shirt under it. And I, I got the jersey too, I can show you. I got all the holes, yep, did it. I got a Pete Mary jersey on. I'm pulling my shirt up. I say, Mom, now she's flying down Mount Elliott, rushing me to the hospital. She pull up my shirt. I said, Mom, look, I can't breathe. I'm about to die. Look at this. When I pull up my shirt, tubes, everything hanging out. My intestines and shit hanging out of me. So I said, I can't breathe. She said, she said, roll the back window down. I said, I'm about to die. I can't breathe. She said, no, you're not. Roll the back window down. So I rolled the back window down. Boom, and I passed out. When I woke up, I was in St. John Hospital with tubes in my throat, catheter in my dick, tubes in my lungs, down my nose, everything. And they said that he stabbed me. And I'm like, he stabbed me? I didn't remember what the fuck happened. And they said he stabbed me. And uh, I thought he stabbed me in my throat because I couldn't talk. So I wrote it. And my mom, she said, no, you, uh, you survived. He didn't stab you in the throat. He just, you know, they got the tubes down your throat, so you'll be able to talk in the morning or tomorrow when they take it out. I said, did he stab me in my private? She said, no. Nah. I said, oh, because I feel something down there. He said, catheter in there. She 
got balloons all over the place. There's so many people in the hospital, family members, I don't even know who was who. But they rushed me to Holy Cross first. Holy Cross take me up. They couldn't do nothing with me. They wasn't a triage. So they just wrapped me up and then sent me over to, I guess they rushed me over to uh, St. John, but I was asleep for all of that. I don't know none of that. The only thing I remember is getting in the back seat and waking up. That's all I remember. Everybody was there. I was in surgery for I don't know how many hours, a certain amount of hours. Got up, I was in pain. Separate arteries in my right arm, fingers numb. You know, but I survived. Like I said, put the strap down. Real G's use D's. You know what I'm saying? Dog ain't want to get that ass, but he ain't want to take that ass with him to keep it moving. He pulled out his weapon. Which anybody probably would have did. I really, I really don't blame him, to be honest, but. He could have kept it fair, but hey, some people don't fight like that. I'm from the street, I'm in the street, so I know how this shit go. You know, I could have had a mag and banged him down. Good luck and good thing I didn't, because I'd be in jail right now for killing that man. Or maybe I wouldn't. It might have been self-defense. But I ain't want to take the chance to be trying to figure that shit out. So I'm good. I don't know what the fuck he on. Cause ain't nobody, I didn't snitch on him. My mom and them got his plate number and all that shit and uh, life plate, all of that. But I remember what the fuck happened, so I ain't have nothing to say. And plus, it was a battle on the street, so fuck the courts, this sister, man. Yeah, they went, they got him and everything. They put him in jail for my mom and them got the court, the paperwork. I mean, you know, his plates and all of that. They went and got him and got the knife, and they did all of that. He even had a proceeding, you know, court. But I, I, I mean, and I was there because, of course, they had to have me there. But you know, I didn't know nothing, so they couldn't use me. So uh, all they said was, uh, not guilty. And dog got the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? So whatever else happened that, to that man after that, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But all I know is real G's use these, and, and I'm here to talk about it 17 times. You know what I'm saying? And that's the part of put the strap down and real G's use these. Take that ass whooping and move on. I was just lucky to survive and live another day, but... Hey, trust me, everybody ain't gonna be like that. But you gotta learn how to solve your problems without trying to kill them. You feel me? That gangster, real Jesus.